at five, more rain expected tonight, and that is bad news for a problem invisible to most of us, but not to watermen. The huge amount of fresh water pouring into the bay from recent heavy rain is wiping out clams. Alex Dimitrik reports it's widespread and moving fast. This time of year, 10 work boats should be pulling up to the dock at Harris Seafood to unload white clams. Today, it's only a couple of boats because you can't unload what you can't catch. What's coming up now are mostly empty shells and dead, decaying clams. This is a mad main disaster. This ain't Mother Nature. Watermen blame the Conowingo Dam. With recent record rains come supercharged releases of fresh water, when a gradual release would give marine life a chance to adapt. It's a shock effect on the whole bay from being salt water and fresh water and just the creatures living in it, they can't stand a chance. This, you know, direct result of what's happening in the Conowingo with this influx of fresh water, specifically from the Susquehanna, is starting to kill these clams at a rapid rate. And the timing of this clam die-off could not be worse. No, it's really bad. The market for Chesapeake white clams is New England. Think chowder and fried clam strips. The last two weeks of summer brings heavy demand. Now it means lost business. We don't have a lot of product right now. It's down a lot in the last couple of weeks since the end of July, and it's getting worse. The bay can't take this. It can't take it. Watermen and wholesalers are both worried clamming could end within a week and may take years to recover. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.